fueled by DeathCast. Interestingly enough, that relationship has become really essential and central to the entire show. You know, we just got very, very fortunate in the casting of Madison. You know, I, I, I as, as, a, as a colleague, have had the pleasure and the privilege to not only see her character grow, but to see her grow as an artist, as an actor, from a young girl to a young woman. And the relationship that Madison and I have professionally and personally is very funny because I feel very, I mean, her parents are amazing. You know, all the kids are actors and it's a, it's a whole showbiz family. She's a, she's a great pleasure to work with. And I think in the beginning, we were just kind of trying to find our footing, but Madison and I really have a great trust and an understanding and a shorthand in how we work. And I think initially the, the temptation was to kind of for directors to kind of come in and tweak and maneuver that relationship. And I, um, in the same way that I'm very protective of the character of Harry, am deeply protective of the character of Maddie, but also of Madison. And we have a thing and she and I do, you know, we just, it's shorthand. It's really like a, a pitcher and a catcher. You know, we have, we have, we don't have hand signals, but we, um, those are some of the most incredibly rewarding scenes that I've done in, in my career as an actor. She's extremely generous and she really knows this character. And so we've kind of, Harry and Maddie have kind of grown up together in the same way that they, they are on the show in that, in that whole discovery. And there's a, we have a, we have a, a, a good deal of, of stuff, interesting and harder stuff um, that Harry and Maddie have to navigate in season six. Dad? Yeah. Be safe. Always. You know, and, and it was always, for me, I said, I don't want this to ever feel like a father knows best cliche. Harry doesn't know jack shit about being a parent. He's yeah. not been in her life as a parent. And they don't come with instructions. And she doesn't really know Harry. And so it's it's been beautiful the way the writers have created that deeply nuanced relationship between these two without ever, ever falling into the pitfalls of, of, of being cliche. It's actually quite the opposite. I mean, it, it gets really uncomfortable and, and very awkward and there's, and, and they exchange frustration and anger with each other, but it's, it's rooted in reality. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to act that stuff. Those scenes are, are, are great. And I torment her, you know, I mean, I, 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 I torment her. I am kind of like, I'm sort of like the big brother slash TV dad. I always give her trouble about her personal life, which is she has a, a great personal life and a really, really sweet boyfriend. Um, that of course, you know, she'd say, okay, well, he's coming to set. This is his first visit to set. And we'd be in the makeup trailer and I would start saying things. And, you know, the next thing I know, I've got, you know, the, the the makeup artist and 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 the hair person are putting me they're going stop just stop stop and she's going like oh let him say whatever he wants to say you know he's he's not going to say any of those things at all he would never ever embarrass me but then there's a small part of her <laughs> that goes will he do one of those little things just and I have full carte blanche from her parents to to torment her all I want so <laughs> I take that. Take that license with great responsibility. 